Viret that subscription renewal process. If you are like me that uh, you are enjoying the 16 no cost Red Dead developer subscription, you might end up in this uh, situation. Uh, you um, have your subscription manager that it seems not connected with any uh, pool of subscription and your DNF ended up saying that no repository is available for your testing machine. So exactly these are the type of uh, error. No enable repository when you are doing a DNF update, the system status are disabled and when you try to register the system, the auto attach is failing. So what are you gonna do? You need to start the renewal process. To be fair, Red Hat is sending an email one month in advance and you need to renew every year your subscription. I think this is a very fair and very generous offer from Red Hat to all the independent developers and people that would like to test Red Hat Enterprise Linux for fun. Also, 16 systems are good enough for some laboratory or some cloud environment just to test it up and enjoy their that enterprise Linux. Okay, there is all the description in the website, but let's do it together. Following the guide, we just need to open in incognito mode our Red Hat account. I'm using mine here and re-accept this policy and submit. Okay, now our Red Hat developer subscription is automatically renewed. So if we check it out, uh, all the technology, um, sorry, if we check it out, our Red Hat customer portal, we can see the subscription that are related to our user. Um, for an expired Red Hat developer, subscription we're gonna end it up having no subscription attached to our host as you can see here let me jump directly to the inventory and there is a no subscription because we just renew the contract it might need to take up to 15 minutes for actually get my subscription done we also can explore the single host and check it out if they are attached to any active subscription or not. In my case, as you can see, this host have no active subscription. Even if I force the auto attach to the pool, I ended up having no subscription for this uh, single host. Okay, this is the magic of recording. After 15 minutes, uh, this two subscription appeared in my account. So now I can jump directly to my system, select one of them, in my case this is a virtual machine, and jump to the subscription that is valid for one year now and try the auto attach. If this doesn't work, it might take a little bit of time, you can manually select the subscription and attach to your system. In my case, as I'm seeing no progress, let me bump to the previous section and jump back to subscription. This host, as you can see, has no subscription attached. So let me perform this via the user interface. Here we are. I have access to the Red Hat developer subscription for individuals that is valid till 2024 November. So I have a time. Cool. Now the virtual machine is attached to the subscription. Now we just need to tell the virtual machine that we are good to go. How to do it? Well, we jump to the same terminal that previously was failing, this system is successfully registered and now we can list the available subscription. Cool! As you can see, now I'm able also to see the, the status that is still disabled, but we can force using a refresh operation and, well, Yes, and the DNF update will still fail because we didn't refresh it, the subscription for this machine, the one that we attached in the, in the console. The alternative is uh, not using the web, the web console, but using the auto-attach from the subscription manager terminal. 
Now the DNF update is actually working and as you can see is connecting to the Red Hat content delivery network and downloading all the necessary package. Wow, it's connecting to the base, base OS and uh, up, upstream repository and is downloading all the required software for my DNF update. Cool, so we fixed the Red Hat developer subscription renewal process. Now the sky is the limit. As you can see, base OS and upstream repository are successfully synced. Let me quickly review with you. Now the system is connected to my um, developer subscription and the previous command that failed now is actually working. So this is the way how Red Hat is supporting the open source and every year we just need to remember to renew our contract so we can use and enjoy up to 16 system free of charge. Cool. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Yay!